S is green. YouTube is green. Twitch is green. That is alert one. Alert two. Alert three. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to a special Wednesday night edition of League One. It is season 13. It is week 10. We have one game for you this week as Navy is on a bye. They are at sea doing uh, rigging drills this week. And we will have the number 11 Clemson Tigers visiting the Carrier Dome against the now number 1 Syracuse Orange. So without further ado... Coach Spector, head coach of the Syracuse Orange, is going to take you through those Clemson Tigers and see what we're looking for in this uh, top 25 matchup. Coach. Hello, sports fans. Coach Spector here. We're here pleased to be now ranked number one. We got that in the win over number seven, Florida State. But this week, playing against number 11, Clemson. This Clemson-Syracuse Battle of the Oranges has become a battle in real life with last year Syracuse knocking off at the time number two, Clemson. And this year, Syracuse losing by three, but however, ranked 13th. But that's uh, the bigger picture. Right now, we're focusing on the roster of Clemson led by quarterback Kelly Bryant, uh, impact player 89 with uh, 80 awareness. Uh, mobile enough, but he's got a good touchdown to interception ratio of 12 to 6 and uh, rating just north of 100, so a little bit above average, but uh, on the ground picking up a solid 46 yards a game, so he will take off and run with it, probably a little bit more so than others. Uh, impact player Travis Etienne, uh, he's in the league now, playing on Sundays. Right now he's a sophomore 93, getting 100 yards a game just a little bit south of Going to be dangerous on the ground and uh, picks up a little bit of extra play in the air. Freshman Chance Phillips at fullback has a 76 quality. Uh, probably not going to show up as much on the stat sheet, although they are not forgetting about him. Uh, and then, of course, Ray Ray McLeod III, a 90 overall senior <laughs> uh, wide receiver. <laughs> He's the third guy to be called Ray Ray <laughs> He's, uh, he's playing well enough. He's got 56 <laughs> yards a game. He's a 90 overall, uh, very quick. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, he's the third Ray Ray. Um, Thompson and Higgins round out a solid core, 85-84. And then even Rogers, the freshman, picking up a little bit. But T. Higgins picking up 50 out of the slot. And Travion Thompson, another 30 from wide receiver, too. Mylon Richard, Richard picking up 30. Uh, you know, when he's open, they'll throw it to him, and he's good enough. A 99 left tackle senior, Mitch Hyatt, is going to make like life really difficult. Got 22 pancake blocks and no sacks on the year, and we're only a little bit past halfway. 92 senior left guard. A 96 senior center. An 84 junior at right guard and a 90 junior round out. One of the best uh, offensive lines you're likely to see all season. So uh, it's going to be a tough day for our defensive line, no doubt. 98 Austin Bryant, the impact player at defensive end with 89 speed, is going to make life really difficult on the edge. But there's a 99 on the other side as well with 89 speed. Uh, Clemson produces first round picks. Christian Wilkins, a 99 defensive tackle, and Dexter Lawrence, a 95 defensive tackle, make for, uh, no doubt, the best front four in the country. I can't imagine another team even coming close. Shaq Smith at 84, left outside, an 84, 85 junior middle, and Kendall Joseph, the impact player at right outside, linebacker, backing up that front four. 88, 87, and 82 with a lot of acceleration. Uh, Terrell not so much on the awareness 
Maybe if we can get him into a nickel situation, we might be able to hit some slots. Van Smith, the senior 88 at free. And then maybe if we can get to him, Tanner Muse is a 79 junior strong safety, about the only human being on the defense. They've got a 93 leg. Uh, this is a stacked football team. There's a reason Clemson competes for national championships, and we're going to face off against them today, but we're glad we get them at home. We're obviously going to take them quite seriously. I'm going to pass the mic back over to Coach Dinja. He's going to give you the play-by-play, -play, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side with a positive result. Thank you, Coach Spector, for that rundown. Thank you, Coach uh, Arbark, uh, for the good luck wishes. Uh, based on that roster, I think he might need it. Orange versus orange tonight, but it's 99 versus a 91. It's close, but it's not close, close. Syracuse Orange, number one in the country in three different categories, points scored, average points scored, average yards given up, average rush yards given up, but the all-around, particularly of the defense of the Clemson Tigers, at 8th in points, 14th in yards, 10th in pass, and 64th in rushing, is a formidable uh, thing, especially when you look at, you know, they might be 57th in the country in points scored per game, but when you keep everybody to 18, 29 is plenty. A big visit game for the Syracuse Orange. A lot of important players visiting, including the number one defensive end in the country. Hoffrichter, Dungey, and Strickland going to see what they can do in this game. The number one players on the orange side of the ball. For the Tigers, all three top players are 99s. It's a left tackle, a right end, and a D tackle. That's two of the formidable front, front four of the uh, of the the, 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 the the guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. The halfback, T. Feaster, of the Tigers is out, but uh, I don't think he's the starter. storied legacies of the history of college football. I started my coaching career, I had a dream. And every decision that I made, that I will be the head football coach at Syracuse University. Undefeated, one time. 1959 National Champions. Syracuse has scored an undefeated season, and the team carries Ben Schwartzwalder off the field. It's gonna be the greatest victory that you kids have ever had. Dozens of the most prolific and impactful players in the game. The first African American to win the Heisman Trophy. Six members of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. 53 All America selections. We need to make this place the hardest place to play in the country. We need you. We need everyone. This is. Our state, our town, our team, and we got to win. Now, go Orange! Spanning more than 10 successful seasons and covering the country from California, Ohio, North Carolina, and Virginia, this is League One NCAA football. Don't you let anyone steal history away from you. Since 1889, this is Syracuse football. 
Syracuse is going to start with the ball. Metcalf takes the knee deep on the letters. Eric Dungy having another great game, 25 for 31 last week. We have a shotgun five wide here. Four down lineman. Looks like a single linebacker for the defense. Custis comes across in the drag and gets hit hard quickly. And it jars the ball loose. That is an incomplete pass on the first down ritual for Syracuse. An unusual incompletion. Defender in exactly the right place. As we now see shotgun halfback weak. Dungy keeps the ball. He fakes out enough guys to get nine yards. But the defender gets off the cor the wide receiver blocker. Stops Dungy short. It's third and one. Looks... 4-2, 4-3-ish, another read option. Dungy keeps it and gets three this time, but the read is perfect to get three yards in the first down. Dante Strickland, the 96 halfback, 5 halfback, of the Orange gets the handoff that time. He gets 3 yards up the gut on the shotgun run. Tied up in the offensive line of the Orange that pressed forward 3 yards. So now we see a uh, shotgun ace. Dungy keeps it and loses 2. Motion triple option gets red, and it's now third and long. They'll spread the field with five wide. Dime formation. Inoisi in the left slot catches the ball short of the first down, but he's got the green space to lean forward before the hit. Dante Strickland, seeing that the angle for the outside was poor, bull rushes forward to make sure he gets five on first down. Again, we see the shotgun normal, weak as Dungy audibles at the line of scrimmage. The tight end goes up to the first down marker and cuts, uh, but the defender is there to put a hand on it and make the incompletion. Loft in the middle receiver of the three on the right comes in the drag. His space cleared out by the slot receiver makes the sure catch for first down. We see a dime formation against five wide. And Dungy throws long to the drag route coming left to right across your screen.
Second and ten. Ball on the 34. Second and ten, three down lineman against the shotgun spread. Strickland gets the handoff and five yards on second and ten. It's now third and manageable. Shotgun normal here, 3-3-5 three, three, defense. Clock going down. Strickland out of the backfield, gets the first down, spin move for another four. We now see the flex bone from the orange. And a creative and aggressive academy style defense. And it gets blown up by a defender who just gets off of his blocker. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. He was the unblocked man. He was the read man and he read correctly and Dungy couldn't get away. Second and 11, four down lineman, looks like maybe even a 4-4. Four, four. Dungy scrambles out of the pocket. Inoisi is running towards the flag. He gets 14 yards, gets tackled short of the border. Tackled short of the border is the name of my Grateful Dead cover band. First and goal now from the four. Again, the shotgun normal halfback weak from the orange. Letting the clock wind down and under three minutes now in the first. Strickland gets the ball. He gets three yards. He gets to a yard short of pay dirt. Second and one, goal to go, five wide. It looks like a dime, but a lot of people in the middle as coverage. Drag route to Custis. Open space as he runs in for the touchdown.
let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And after the Syracuse Orange take up most of the first quarter, we finally see Etienne Bryant and the uh, the Clemson Tigers as they do a good job of passing out into the flat. One guy hits, the next guy misses, and the third guy keeps it to a first down as we now see a ace formation here and an audible from Clemson. Etienne in the backfield, tight end motioning. This time, though, Garrett Williams loses a yard, catching it out in the flat. More ace from the Tigers. Etienne gets two yards when safeties crash down. Third and long now as we continue to see hurry up from the Tigers. They have now moved out into five whitish. Green forces him out of the pocket. And Bradshaw goes up and gets the ball. That is a fantastic pick. starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's third and ten. Ball on the 27. We now see what looks like a quarter from McClemson and Inoisi in the right slot, 28 yards in space after he cuts away from his man defender. The Orange now in enemy territory as we see a wing offset out of the shotgun. Lofton comes in motion. And Dungy keeps it. He gets across the first down marker. He gets great blocking. And he runs it in the end zone. There's a flag. And there's a clipping call on the play. It's a 15-yard penalty. Fortunately, it is after the first down marker. It is first and ten now. It's first and ten. Syracuse in the lead in field goal range. Lofton takes the ball. He does a spin move to stop his lateral momentum and move forward. The angle was correct. It makes sure that he gets the yards. That's the end of the first. Syracuse is up on Clemson. 7 to nothing. The Orange, uncharacteristically, making sure they take a lot of time off the clock, at least on their initial drive. Shotgun, shotgun ace here, or, or sorry, split big, I should say. 
And Strickland out of the backfield on the angle route, seven yards and a secured ball. Lofton in motion. Dungy avoids the guy. Ooh, and Lofton almost gets stripped up by his own guy. But he gets outside, and that is the touchdown run that they wanted on the last time they called that play. Syracuse now up by two scores. Only 21 seconds into the second. Syracuse Orange only having given up 11 yards on defense. Three backs, Travis Etienne, three backs in a, in a shotgun or pistols. Full house, full house set. Etienne gets one yard out of the full house. This time the pass is attempted out of the full house and it is a sack making it third and very long. And now single back behind Bryant, looking for the pass. Nobody's there. Hit as he throws. And Amari Rogers gets 43 yards to the sideline in a gap between the coverages. A pick play 30 yards downfield. And the Tigers are hurrying to the line. And they hand it off to... The full was that the center that kept it? The center kept the ball. Yeah, that that is an illegal play. They got five yards on it. Rogers gets five or ten on the reception afterwards. And the uh, the Tigers continue to move to hurry up, I should say. T. Higgins is forced out of bounds after a five-yard gain. The Tigers continue to hurry up. The flag on the play. False start. Moves it to second and ten and slows down the pace a little bit. It's second and ten. Ball on the 18. The ten. Etienne up the middle clean for 17. Ball. 
Etienne is hit as he crosses the line. He fumbles the ball. It is recovered in the end zone by the Syracuse Orange. That is a hell of a way to steal seven points. Great play by Barry there. Huge turnover. The second significant turnover. As we now see the Syracuse Orange come back out again on their own 20-yard line in the shotgun flex. Spread flex, I should say. Hand off to Strickland up the gut. Wide open avenue. Gets into the secondary and gets 12 yards. Shotgun split, 3-3-5 three, three, defense. Angle route, Strickland cuts the wrong way and loses a yard. Second and 11 now. Still a three-man front from the Tigers. Dungy rolls out. And he can't escape the defense. They hit him in the legs. It's now third and 17. Third and long against a five wide. And the ball is lofted into space, and the defender comes up with it for the turnover. Ball way, well, not necessarily off target, but way too slow. Excellent field position now for the Clemson Tigers. Etienne, 24 yards through the middle. Normal halfback week here finally from the Clemson Tigers and Travis Etienne gets one yard on the run. More normal halfback week. Etienne goes wide and he gets across the plane for the touchdown. And the Tigers have returned it to a one possession game. Deep in the end zone, Metcalf doesn't want a piece of it. Syracuse is going to start on their own 
20 yard line, they've got, sorry, 25 yard line, they've got 438 to work with. We see five wide again from the orange. Dungy rolls out to the right this time. He avoids the end. He gets past the first down marker. He gets 12 before being hit out of bounds. Tremendous amount of speed there, as you saw the entire o, uh, sorry D line of the Clemson Tigers following with him. Shotgun split. Pitch to Strickland. Spins to eliminate the angle from the safety. Gets six yards. Tommy Tanuvasa in in the heavy set, as is traditional. When they bring out the Maryland, Tommy Tanuvasa comes onto the field. Handoff is to Strickland. He gets a two-yard gain, makes it third and short. Shotgun normal here. Dungy keeps it. Gets six yards and the first down on the read option. It's now into enemy territory. 317 with a live clock. Strickland out of the backfield, 11 yards from the eye. Shotgun normal now from the orange. Drag route to Lofton. He gets three yards and three more after the catch. Second and four as Syracuse stays in the shotgun normal. Dungy scrambling out. The end is following. He throws it on the run, one-footed Adley Anoisi, his fourth reception of the game. He's got 66 yards. That gets a first down as Anoisi is running to the sideline. Two minutes, 10 seconds, and a live clock. 17 yards to Graceland. Strickland gets four yards on the underneath route as the end and the slot clear out space for him, but he gets tackled by the pl guy playing man coverage. From the 13 yard line, it's second down. Dungy, pitch at the last second, Strickland into space for the touchdown. That's an upset. Arkansas bringing down number three. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. 
And with a minute 26, Clemson is down by two scores once again and will be in the hurry up as Ray Ray McLeod third kneels the ball down in the end zone. I, I, I recovered from my guffaws. It took me 20 minutes. <laughs> That's the kind of name you expect from British nobility. Ray Ray McLeod third. As Manly doesn't so doesn't really get the sack, but gets the trip, and that's close enough. Manley forces the quarterback out of the pocket and he throws the check down guy who gets tackled immediately, making it third and 15. Giving an opportunity for the Syracuse defense. Antoine Cordy with the deflection, making it fourth and 15. Metcalf running to the far side of the field. He drops a number of defenders. It's only the punter now. Punter stops him. Metcalf gets a 40-yard return, 57 seconds, two timeouts, 19 yards. Have you dealt with all of your endgame crises, Leon? And the ball is just thrown away as the coverage and the rush was too tough. Syracuse had nowhere to go on first down. <laughs> he did that, Kirk. He made the correct decision. You're an asshole. So we now see the split, and this time Dante Strickland only gets four on the triple option. As they threw enough guys to that side of the field to man up. Dungy is out of the pocket. He's running, and he gets tripped up. That's Bryant's second trip sack of the game, I do believe, and it forces the kick from Syracuse, but they can make sure that Clemson doesn't see the ball again this half. Yeah, I mean, did you hit the A button? Yeah. <laughs> so I actually heard about um. So um, you may recall what is commonly known as the worst play in NFL history. Or at least in the circles I run in, one of the worst plays in NFL history. Yeah. Do you know why it happened? Because the guy who was the center was the backup center. 
and he was and he and he was running it by the playbook and the playbook said if somebody lines up under center we're snapping the ball and somebody did because the coach told him line up under center and if you don't want to you know if you can get him off sides snap you know call the snap otherwise don't but he didn't tell the center and as far as the center knew the play was happening so the play happened Clemson can pull within seven here, beginning in the third. They're second in inches now with a shotgun split of their own. And the defenders can't stop the Chance Phillips short of the first down marker, and the Tigers keep it moving. They like the hurry up. Pistol wing, or something like it. Hand off to Etienne. Etienne gets hit from both sides in the backfield. He shrugs him and gets three yards anyway, but it's second and seven as they go to the shotgun split. Timeout called by the Orange. Pistol. McLeod breaks one tackle, gets 19 yards. Rodney Williams with his first deflection of the game with a long ball. Ooh, number five loses to Nebraska. Um, so far, not effective for Clemson as uh, the, 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 the Syracuse Orange are keeping close coverage on anybody trying to streak straight to the end zone. Hand off to Yetian. He gets the edge. He goes back inside and has good blocking. That's a touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. In just under a minute, Clemson moves it back within one score. Metcalf catches it deep and decides to take it out of the end zone. Gets stopped at the 19-yard line. Shotgun ace, two or five receivers on the left. Strickland comes in motion, pitches out to Strickland. Blocking by the quarterback as the lead walker gives Dante Strickland a seven-yard gain on the pitch. A little hurry up of their own for the Syracuse Orange. Dungy scrambles and goes out of bounds and slides. Make sure he gets the first down safely. From their own 35 yard line. It's first down. Lofton in motion this time. Dungy gets past the first down marker, but can't pitch it 15 yards on the ground. And with that, the Orange now have double the first downs of the Clemson Tigers. Play action. Anoisi is wide open in the flat. 21 yards. Now 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Dungey scrambles. And there is a flag on the play. Clipping is on and noisy. It is now first and 16. And uh, Dungey is a uh, little tired. On first and 16, we see the backup, Tommy Tanivasa. He scrambles out. He's got space. He's got speed. He cuts. He cuts again. He goes in outside, inside. He gets 24 yards and is tackled. The future on display today. It is now first and ten from the eleven and a quarter. Strickland in the drag route catches the pass. The defender is draped all over him. He gets two yards. Strickland up the middle. He gets five to make it third and short. This is the eighth play of this drive. Dungey scrambles. There's an angle, and he goes wide for the touchdown. Syracuse moves it back to a two-score game, but also importantly, burns four minutes of game time off the clock. Etienne tackled after five on a full house. And looks like staying with the full house there. Etienne gets the outside again. This time he gets seven yards and a first down. And the Tigers attempt a pass out of the full house, and McKinley Williams gets the sack. And that's followed up quickly by another sack. Back-to-back -back sacks by the Orange make it third and 17. Kelly Bryant moves in the pocket to get space and makes the pass, the long pass, for first down on third and long. Now in enemy territory again, the Clemson Tigers. He's at the 30. Down at the 
T. Higgins out of the left slot gets 19 and keeps it moving for Clemson. And with three plays, Clemson has covered about 50 yards of field. They're now deep in the red zone as they continue to hurry up. Trayvon Thompson this time is tackled short of the goal line. Flag on the play, and it is a false start by the hurry-up Clemson. And Travis Etienne has the great break tackle to get it in from the five-yard line. Good evening, Nuke Wolf. Welcome to week 10 of season 13 of League One. The, I am Coach Ninja, uh, giving you the play-by-play -play on Coach Spector's number one ranked Syracuse Orange as they take on the number 11 Clemson in an ACC matchup. Clemson and Syracuse continue to be able to respond to each other back to back to back, moving it from one score to two score to one score to two score. Uh, but the sun is getting low in the sky for the Clemson Tigers. Tommy Tanuvasa in the backfield throws long into space for Lofton. Were you, were you, did, did you remember you had the backup quarterback there? But he was wide open. That was enough. Now in enemy territory. Just before the end of the third. Shotgun split big. Tommy Tanuvasa keeps it. Gets to the outside. He's running to the sidelines. He's tripped up after 22. Good blocking, but that front defense of Clemson is fantastic. Dungy back in the game now. Throws it to Anoisi, who's clean over the middle. He gets 10 yards and leans for the first down. First and goal now from the six as it appears Syracuse is trying to score before the quarter ends. Custis on the drag route, six yards. He gets it to the inch line and he's hit. And that's the end of the quarter. Shotgun five wide now. Dungy tempts the quarterback run. He gets tackled and it's a loss of one. Third and goal from the one yard line now. And Strickland takes the handoff and runs it in, standing up. Really 
Hoffrichter kicks off. Etienne takes the knee. Clemson once again down by two scores. Hand off to Etienne. He gets hit in the backfield and gets a gain of two. And it's a screen pass out to the right. It's Read well, but the first two guys don't make the tackle, but it still prevents a gain on second down. It's now third and eight. And Manley dives for the feet of Kelly Bryant, forcing the throw away. It's fourth and eight, forcing the punt. And that is, I do believe, a three and out. Metcalf takes it before the 30 and moves it to the 35. You can always count on from this team is a great defensive performance. I think you and I and everybody today has got to be shocked to see these guys with how bad they've played on that side of the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Under pressure. Fires quick. Tips. Brad, I thought if the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught, the receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. It's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Spread the field with five wide. Tackle made around the one yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. And this kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. We've got second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Now he tries to buy some time. The pressure got there, and it's intercepted. That's a great tackle at the one-yard line. That pick. First down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. And that's going to be a ridiculous run after four broken tackles. 
Everybody in the right place, but that's a 99-yard run by Travis Etienne. He gets hit by two guys. They can't stay on him. He gets hit by one more guy and has all the blockers in the world. That, my friends, is the Clemson Tigers. They are down by one score, and there's five minutes, 20 left in the game. quarterback threw an interception on their last drive let's see if they can be more successful here and we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more the pitch and he's got some room down the sideline at the 30 to the 20 touchdown big play He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. I don't know what's more valuable on this guy. His feet or his arm? Here I am. Rocked you like a hurricane. Massive play for Syracuse to bring it back to a two-score game with barely any time off the clock, putting the pressure back on the Clemson Tigers and their own defense. Continue to keep these drives alive because right now he is unstoppable. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And the defender goes up and hits him while he's midair, forcing the drop. Etienne gets stalled and tackled by the second man after a gain of four, making it third and six. They now come out in a shotgun split, no tight ends. They do a quick pass out in the flat to T. Higgins. He gets tackled immediately. Loss of one. It's now fourth and six, forcing a punt. Less than four and a half minutes left in the game. And Metcalf takes the ball. He maneuvers around. He gets across midfield. There is a flag on the play. He gets it in the end zone, but it might not stay there. Clipping is called. It is a 15-yard penalty. It is a massive penalty forcing the Orange all the way back to their own 22. Must have been a immediate clipping. Because that is based on the point on the field. Dungy takes the ball. 
he gets a five yard gain on the motion triple option He scrambles and he gets hit in the backfield. The Tigers thought they had something special in this kid as a pass rusher. He just proved them right. That's the first sack of his career. It's now third and twelve. From their own twenty yard line. It's third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And with the no call on pass interference, Syracuse Orange are forced to punt the ball away on fourth and 12. Up by two score, the ball is muffed but recovered by the Tigers on their own 47. Travis Etienne gets zero yards that time. Not nearly enough production on first and ten, down by two scores with under three minutes. The clock is live as we see another lineup. Screen, and there's a penalty. And that's roughing the passer against Manley. This is going to move it deep into enemy territory. As the Tigers still like the hurry up. Under two scores, down by two scores, I should say. It's uh, understandable. Bryant, plenty of time in the pocket. He's making the scramble. And he gets trapped. He gets a five-yard gain. Travis Etienne breaks almost all of the tackles. He gets hit in the backfield and then gets 11 yards anyway. The question is, is are the Tigers moving downfield fast enough as the ball is thrown away? Now on second and goal now. Oh, good. Memphis lost the game. That helps. And Chance Phillips out in the flat, flat on the quick pass is tackled for loss. It's now third and long. Down by two scores, a minute 36 left to go. This really is do or die for the Tigers. The Tigers elect to call a timeout. Sorry, the Orange elect to call a timeout. Clemson going for it on fourth and goal.
coming out with two tight ends and two halfbacks, a very heavy set. Fuller in motion, handoff to Etienne. They keyed on him, but he walked in anyway. A perfect blocking scheme. Down by 35 with a minute 24. Expect Clemson to be making an onside. Bavaro catches it. And gets the ball. Clemson has three timeouts, forcing a first down here out of the orange. Tommy Tanuvasa has the ball, gets outside. Two men to beat. He gets hit out of bounds after a 32-yard gain. Minute 14 left in the game. Five wide receivers now. Dungy scrambles out of the pocket. He keeps it. He gets out of bounds after five. The clock stops. Dungy throws the fullback, Tyrell Richards. He gets a yard, maybe, but it forces the timeout to be spent by Clemson. Five wide receivers on third and four. Dungy scrambles. And that's an incompletion. But fourth and four on the ten. On the 10-yard line, fourth and four. Looks like the Syracuse Orange are in no rush to, to call another play. Getting a delay of games, forcing back the fourth down play. Fourth and 14 now as the Orange continue to be nonplussed. 
by whatever's going on with the referees. Fourth and 19 now as finally they send the kicker onto the field. Under a minute left. Kicks up. The uprights are split. And they force Bryant to throw the ball away. That's a good burn of a down for the Syracuse Orange. Richard catches the ball, but he gets stopped in bounds, and it costs a timeout after the game. Etienne gets three, but it starts the clock moving and forces Kelly Bryant to spike the clock, making it third and seven. And that's a sack. Forcing a fourth down attempt with a live clock. Davion Ellison gets up, gets his hands on it, forces the turnover. And with 14 seconds left in the game, that appears to be just about it. Dungey comes out in a heavy set. This is not, however, a kneel formation. And he gets blown up. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to get out to get another playoff after the sack.
Custis gets 21 yards on the pass. Costs four seconds. Dungey with 200 yards passing. And throws it to Mullen. Who gets forced out of bounds. That's the end of the game. An excellent game by the Orange. Making sure that they kept the ball away from the Clemson Tigers for as long as possible. Making sure that the Orange offense was heated up when the uh, Tiger offense was cold. Turned it into a game where they could get a steal and keep the game always as uh, Clemson responding, but never tying. Recovered from a couple of turnovers, but uh, overall a uh, excellent execution despite a fantastic game by Travis Etienne, who just shed all of the blocks. Thank you for joining us. We will convene again next week with another uh, single game. Syracuse playing, I don't remember who, but uh, we can look that up right now. But Navy will be on a bye next week. Week 11 will be Syracuse at Boston College. It's going to be a rivalry game, and that will probably be Friday of next week. So thank you for joining us uh, for this surprise middle-of-the-week game. Have a great week.